Hello everyone, and today we're going to be going to the Active Valve Performing Exhaust for your Mustang. Now when you go to the Ford website, you can pick this package for about $1,000, but unfortunately when you go choose this package and look up the description, it doesn't give you a lot of details. So in this video, we're going to go over the nooks and crannies of what this package is. So let's jump right in and give a little bit of a background. Back in 2018, Ford posted an article of how they hired sound and audio engineers to help create this beautiful system. And they started by actually identifying the actual psychological connection that is created with sound. And that's what they talk about in these earlier sections right here. And as we get deeper in the article, Ford describes how they use these sound engineers to create a computerized controlled musical instrument by opening and closing valves, similar to a saxophone. And by embracing this methodology, you can actually do more than just hear your exhaust. You can actually feel it and actually have a connection with it. So let's take a look at this Mustang. Right on the driver's side, we're going to take a look at these tailpipes. And you're going to see a little module or a valve connected to one of the tailpipes on the inner tailpipe. And we're going to try to get in this here and see if we can get a better look. Let's see how you use our borescope. There we go. You can actually see the valve disc to that butterfly valve. And that disc is going to open and close based on your settings for your exhaust modes. And this system is equipped with two butterfly valves. One, obviously, we just showed you on the driver's side. I'm going to make my way to the passenger side right now. And it should be also in the same spot on the passenger side. And it's going to do the exact same thing. We're going to get the details next. So let's jump right in how we change these exhaust modes. On your steering wheel, hit left. Then up, we're going to go to settings. Go to exhaust modes, hit OK again. And this is our four modes. Quiet. You can see the valve shut. Normal. Go down to sport. And then down to track mode. And it's going to ask you, are you OK with track mode? And of course, you're going to say OK. Now this is the primary method for changing your exhaust modes, but there is another way. If you go down to your driving mode toggle switch, down by your shifter, and all you gotta do is click it up, those will change to different driving modes. Now of course you got normal driving mode, which is your normal exhaust, sport mode, which is sport exhaust, track mode, which gives you track exhaust, these are all self-explanatory. Now track mode and drag strip mode give you the track mode exhaust, and then you have snow and wet, which is just your normal exhaust mode. Now you've noticed that I didn't give you quiet mode with those different driving modes. Quiet mode, the way you can set this, is you go back to your exhaust menu, and you go down to quiet start. Click on quiet start, and you ensure that the quiet start is checked. Go down to schedule quiet start, and this will allow you to change your quiet start and stop time. So early in the morning when you go to work, if you want to have your exhaust very quiet when you leave for work, you can set it to a quiet time. Also as a little bonus, anytime you want to exit quiet mode, change your driving modes and it'll take you right out. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Quiet mode outside the car. Quiet mode inside the car. Normal mode outside the car. Normal mode inside the car. Sport mode outside the car. Sport mode inside the car. Track mode outside the car. Track mode inside the car. Quiet mode drive-by demo. Normal mode drive-by demo. Sport mode drive-by demo. Track mode drive-by demo. I 
think track mode sounded the best. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.